Hey my lovelies, it's Ty's Blake. I'm back with another recent fairies video. Uh, it is a bit darker, I'm not gonna lie, it's half six at night. And um, I just thought, let's, let's, just, let's just do it now. I thought I'm recording some games anyway. Might as well, I don't know. I've just been loving this setup lately. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get straight into this and talk about this first. So my cute little setup, I'm gonna move that book out of the way. Um, so it's my Pokemon print that I got for my birthday, which is like in a few episodes ago. I was talking about my friend um, painted this for me for my birthday. Um, and then I've had these shelves put in. And I've kind of changed up my room around again. So I'm a different wall where basically that wall right there, I was facing that before. Um, so I thought I'll put my Pokemon print there right now. I've got my switch here. Um, so it kind of laps round and then I might get another shelf here. I can't, I can't decide yet. Um, but yeah, so over the next few, uh, well, yeah, episodes, even with some of my gameplays, I'm thinking about adding some prints on the other wall. Um, and then what I'm going to do, or I don't know, I might have the prints this wall and then move the Pokemon picture. Because right now he's, he's literally just, you know, chilling on the wall, so... I was going to say, it's just, it's just like my favourite new setup right now. So obviously I've got to talk about it because again, it is in most of my videos. So next thing I want to talk about is this jumper. Um, and it's so weird, but I've worn it like twice this week and I've had compliments on it in the street. And I just want to talk about it because it's the softest. It's so lovely. It's like this white cream, cream between, I'd say like white, white colour, um, hand knitted and it's blue. Um, it's gorgeous blue knitting detail and I actually got this from um I was gonna say Depop but it wasn't Depop Vintage um I don't actually know the brand because it doesn't have any tags on but this is the this is the best part okay and I am in my pajama bottoms but we're just gonna ignore that um it's got these cute little fish details on and I don't know why I just saw it and I thought that's that's weirdly adorable like I've got my big jumper that I spoke about ages ago and it's like a massive alien and I just kind of wanted to get like new different colours because I've got a green jumper a black one and that's really that's really it because I've been more into cardigans and I just saw it and I thought oh my gosh it's the best thing ever and I get so many compliments asking where it's from and it feels so good as well um but yeah I got it on Vinted I'm gonna try and like do a google search on it to see if um <coughs> sorry to see if um i can find where it's actually from because again like there's no tags it looks like the tags that you've been um cut out and the vintage seller um doesn't even have an account anymore so i don't know i can't even ask the person but yeah next thing um so <laughs> it's gonna sound really weird but it's a little key keyring and i saw this and i was just thinking I need it. Like, I'm gone. Let me just shake properly. There we go. How cute is that? <laughs> um, so I saw this at a little um car beat sale that I was at and they were selling different colour ones of these. So <laughs> it's just so cute. Um so it says fish every and then um it's got a Chinese language on. I did ask it they did say it was Chinese, but they didn't know what it translated me so yeah so definitely little key chain and it's got a bell which sorry i'm constantly knocking that but do you know my favorite part so it's like a black cat with a koi fish head <laughs> so if i just wanted like this cute little black cat just just chilling it's just there but i don't know why i just saw the head and i just got obsessed and i went oh my gosh i need it and um He's way cute with a head. Um, because I've got my dinosaur keychain. Um, but I oh, it's gonna sound horrible. I can't remember if I've talked about it. And let me just quickly put the head back on this cat. There we go. Right, let me just quickly grab it. It's, oh. Okay, so it's on my Zara bag that I spoke about, but I can't remember if I've actually spoke about a keychain. And look at it, it's a little dinosaur. And I got it from um, 
the West Midland Safari Park so I have like a little dinosaur exhibit in there and I got it from the shop so when I'm literally carrying my pack there's just this dinosaur on it and I thought oh my gosh I should just because I've got a red bag quite similar to this I should just put this dude on it and it yes it's ridiculous and if anyone knows me personally knows that my keychain has got like a billion things on it. it's one of those massive ones that it's too big for your pocket because of how much stuff I've got on um but yeah right now he's just chilling on like a one of my little coat hooks um but it's in like a frame so it just it just looks super cute chilling but I just thought it was the cutest thing in the world and I'd love to get something of a frame kind of like this so I'm gonna do a google search again um but yeah I got it from this um Kaboot sound and the woman said that she had made them all and it was just so cute there was loads of different colour cats as well but I don't know why this one just it spoke to me in a spiritual level doesn't even make sense but I don't care because it's adorable um, so the next thing is again another thing if I can't remember if I spoke about it because I've just been obsessed with it for the last few months and it's gonna sound a bit silly but it's a keybone plushie that dude um I got this on eBay and it's got like the little authentication certificate on it and I just thought saw it and I thought I'm absolutely obsessed with Keybone. Um, I actually watched a lore video about Pokemon and Keybone is in it. And um, you know, I just I just saw this and I thought, okay, I've got I've got one plushie and it's I'm literally looking at it, but I can't reach it. <laughs> um it's an ankylosaurus, it's like squishmallow. And this is like a little plushie, and I thought it's it's of Keybone. Who wouldn't want one of Keybone? And it's just the softest thing. And um, I don't sleep with it. I know most people who have like teddies sleep with them. I don't sleep with it. I just keep him chilling on my chair and I'm not sitting in it. I don't know. It's just a comfort thing, but he's so bloody cute. I just wish that there was like a giant one of him. I don't know why. He's just he's just so cute. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then um, another thing which I've been loving, and I got this from Vinted like years ago. And I always forget to talk about it because I always keep it on like my switch stand. Um, and it's this dude. And look at him. So this is a Microraptor and this is from the brand Schley. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, and I didn't even know they did these. Like I really want to get a Spinosaurus um, which is on there. And I've bought a few uh, dinosaurs from there. And I was just on Vintage and I was looking at the seller. And um, she had a Spinosaurus that I liked. So I just, I always go in the shop see what other stuff and this guy popped up and I thought I've never seen like small dinosaurs on Shlee before I knew it's a Microraptor they're one of my favorite like feathered dinosaurs um I first got introduced to them by Prehistoric Park which is a documentary with Nigel Marvin in amazing like if you're into dinosaurs hard to watch it uh, but yeah look at him he's like blue and green um so what I do is when I'm not using my switch um I'll put them on top of my switch or well, sometimes I put him on top of like my monitors, which I'm actually putting back there. So he's kind of there. I just never think to talk about him if that makes sense, because he's just he's just chilling. But um, yeah, I was gonna say it's been like a very weird mix of stuff this um episode, I suppose. I was gonna say we are coming up to Christmas, so I know over the next few weeks I'll have loads of Christmas stuff to um talk about and. I definitely still need to do an episode of my thumbnails. I keep getting requests about it. Um, but yes, I was going to say, we'll talk about it in the next episode. But anyway, my lovies, I really hope you enjoyed it. You'll see you in the next one. Bye.